Alright guys, so my well has a little bit low water pressure. Um, this gauge actually kicks on when it gets down to 20 psi and kicks off when it gets to 40. Um, ideal range wants to uh, be 30-50, so I need to increase the pressure. Um, I bought a new pressure switch. This is what you need, a 30-50 psi. So it's already pre-tightened, um, so it kind of knows where 30 and 50 psi already is. So you could just install a new one. Um, I did have this entire setup here replaced because of a pinhole leak. So um, they actually replaced this for me already, but it appears that it's just not strong enough. You can see it's like nice stainless steel. It's not corroded and rot rusted and everything. So um, this should be perfectly fine. But what you do is you just shut off your power at your breaker for the well. I like to use two different pens, but I'm just, I've already verified that this power is dead. I like to just make sure um, that nothing's gonna shock me. And it's really simple to adjust this. There's two, two nuts right here, right? There's this one, the small one, and then there's one center one here. You actually just tighten this a couple turns. So every time you, you turn this, one full turn is about two to three PSI. So it's gonna increase that pressure in your well or your water um, and it's going to kick on at a higher pressure and it's going to kick off at a higher pressure. We want to get into that 30-50 range and right now we're at about 20-40 so I'm going to do probably two to three more turns here and then I'm going to kick this water pressure, the well power back on and test it. I'll show you how to test it too. Alright so that's enough for now. Let's go test it again. You want to just do this gradually. You can always add more pressure but don't crank it up like crazy and screw up your house. Um, come over here, we're gonna kick on our water. Well pump gets kicked on. And then we're gonna go watch our, our meter here. You can see it's losing pressure, going down, going down. We still need to increase this a bit more. It's still going. My goodness, it's taking forever. Sorry, guys. All right, so it just kicked on at about 24 psi, so we're we're halfway there. So I'm just going to do the same amount of turns again, and it's going to bump us up another 5 psi, and then we should be in range. So this should stop right around 44, 45 psi right now. Six, 47, 48. Okay, so we're nearly there. I'm just gonna cycle this one more time and see this cutoff, uh, this cutoff level here. <clears throat> but this is all you do. Um, and remember, don't touch anything inside of here. If your power's off, you will shock yourself and kill yourself. Um, or it could just give you a nasty zap. All right, so it's kicking off at 48 psi it should kick on right around 28 two to three full turns here. That's cutting off too low. I want to keep this pressure between 30 and 50. So um, that's all you do, guys. And then I'll come back over here. Shut my water off. Shut my well off. Come on back over. And you're gonna repeat the same exact process, guys. Take the cover off. Make sure you don't kill yourself. And then we're going to take this. I'm going to turn this. Three more. Two more full turns here. So I'm not using the correct wrench. Don't make fun of me. They're out in the garage. And I'm feeling lazy. These will do just fine. It's not like it's a tight 
nut here, so. And do a couple more here. All right. Cover it up. Again, don't kill yourself. Be responsible. I'm going back over here. Well back on. faster. Huh? Okay, we just hit 50, guys. That is exactly what we wanted it. Let's hope it cuts off. It looks like it's not a perfect 20 PSI difference. Normally it's 20 different. Um, 30, 50, 40, 60. Uh, if this drops below 30 here, I may place this switch with a better, higher quality one. Yeah, see how it goes down? 28 to 50. So, I mean, it's it's fine. Uh, it's fine for now. As long as it pressurizes back up to 50 here, we should be good. You know, I did talk to my well company and they did say that my, my, um, my tank is a little undersized for my house and my setup, so uh, that's a future improvement, uh, which will just, Kick the, kick the um, pump on less amount of times and kind of conserve energy. All right, so this is taking a long time. But you can see we're getting up into the proper range here, 50. And I want to see it cut off right now. We're good. All right, guys. All you gotta do. So now we have a functional water pressure nurse. Lift this out. <laughs> 